Now this is where I feel happiest. Playing the records that send a shiver down your spine, put a smile on your face and make you rush the dance floor. It's been an exciting decade for DJs and we've all developed styles of our own. But the art of the DJ might have evolved very differently if it wasn't for one man, Frankie Knuckles. So let's join Mix Mag's Don Phillips as he sets out with the legendary godfather of house. I used to always think that what I did was create a kind of a poor man's paradise on the dance floor. It gives him an opportunity to completely escape the rigors of reality and just be one with themselves and hundreds of other people at the same time that could be told strangers. Frankie Knuckles' story is the story of house music itself. Born in the underground gay clubs of New York and Chicago, house is now an international sound and Frankie DJs all over the world. So I asked John Brown, Frankie's tour manager, how it all began. Do I recall when I met Frankie Knuckles? Um, it was about 23 or 24 years ago and I was working for Cool and the Gang. He was a disc jockey in New York City and he was coming to pick up records. And we just hit it off. Right? We had a, a similar sensibility about music and, and a similar sensibility about human beings. We both enjoyed really deep soul music. We both really had a, a, a taste for it, you know, and, and it was great. It was a great time. It was the early 70s and we really, all kinds of music was being played. To really make the whole room just move in one complete rhythm and all those people come together and just be one big force of energy, you have to be a part of that. You have to put yourself in the middle of that. And a lot of times I used to think it would be great if the DJ booth was like right in the center of the dance floor and then everybody was around you, but the booth would take up too much room in the center of the dance floor and therefore you wouldn't have a heart. I mean, the heart of the party is right in the center of the dance floor. Move to the back, give it to me. 